Hi there, this is Jenny Walker from DigiGoods and Printables ELA and today we're going to talk about how to use your digital scrapbook or how to create one. If you're finding this video from my YouTube channel, you can find a link to this digital scrapbook in the descriptions. First of all, there are two ways in which you can build your scrapbook. You can build a blank page from scratch, or you can use the pre-designed templates that I've created for you and simply insert your own photos. Also, you can use this combination so that you can build some of your pages from scratch and some of them using templates. In this scrapbook, there are three elements. You have your craft pieces, which is clip art that you can move around. You have blank pages, and some of them are not blank, but they're background wallpapers. And you have pre-designed templates. Let's get started. First of all, you're going to choose the background. I have tons to choose from, but for this project, we'll do a beachy theme. So we'll use this sand background. Next, you're going to need to insert your photos. And um, let's assume that you already have your photos saved on your computer. If not, it's very simple to do. You can find videos all over YouTube that will show you how to do that if you're not sure. I like to take photos from my phone and email them to myself and then save them directly onto my computer. But you can do it however you like. So to insert the photo, you're going to go up here to your taskbar and hit insert. You're going to go to image, upload from the computer. Uh, you'll find your pictures. And here you'll start typing in whatever you titled your picture. Mine is called Doggy on the Beach. So I'm going to grab my picture of my dog on the beach and put them in, in my, on my sheet. Now I can put as many pictures on here as I like. I can move them around and... Um, arrange them however I want. Okay. So now that I have my photos inserted and arranged where I want them for this page, I want to decorate my page with beachy clip art and make it look cool. So I need to go to my beach clip art and select the pieces I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and grab the ball since we have a dog. I think that would be cute. And maybe some of these beach toys. And how about this umbrella? So I want, if I want to grab all three pieces at once so that I don't have to keep clicking back and forth, it's very simple. First of all, you will click on the first image. And notice that it gets highlighted with this blue box with all these little squares. While it is highlighted, I'm going to hold the control key and click the other pieces that I want to grab at the same time. So now notice that they're both highlighted. And so now I have all three pieces highlighted. I can take my finger off the control key. Now I need to copy them so I can paste them onto my beach page. I don't want to cut them because I want to leave them on this page so I can use them again and again. So I need to click the control button and at the same time click the C button. Now they are copied. And when I go to my beach page, I can, let me show you, simply click control V and they are pasted. They're not where I want them, and they're not as big as I want them to be, but I have them on my page. So now that I'm back on my page and I've pasted my clip art, um, I want to make some of them bigger and move them around, but I don't want to distort them. So let's put the ball up here where the dog's at. Maybe I'll overlap it on this picture a little bit. Maybe I want to make it smaller. Okay, so first of all, if I am not careful and I just drag my image any other any old way, I might distort it and it, and it looks funny. So to keep from doing that, you hold the shift key and you grab the corner and then you can make it as big or as small as you like 
and as long as you're holding the shift key this ball will keep a perfect shape or any object will keep the same proportion so that it's not distorted and you're only changing the shape so let's put the ball here and this looks like a good place for an umbrella since we're just kind of relaxing in this picture I'll make my umbrella a little bigger the sky's the limit oh that's cute I'll make it overlap that's really cute and uh, here it looks playful so I'll put my little sand toys here and I want to make them a little bigger oops as well okay see how easy that is all right now now I have my clip art let me show you another cool trick you can add um, shadows I've already done that but if you want your um, pieces to really pop off the page you hit format options and then you can click drop a shadow and notice you can't see it but it's over here on the right and I can change the distance so I can make my shadow as big or small as I want and the bigger it is the more it pops off the page you want to be careful because you can make it look a little funky if you make your shadow too big but I love that trick okay so let's talk about well, let's see now I might my frames my pictures look okay but they would look cooler if they had some frames around them or maybe some pieces of tape like you typically see in a scrapbook so I'm going to go down here and grab I'm going to grab a frame like a polar I could do a Polaroid frame control C remember come up here and paste it control V I'll leave that there I'm going to grab a couple of pieces of tape because I love that look. I think that's adorable. Control C. Control V. It's going to play around. If I put my tape over top. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. What would it look like with a frame? Let's try it. I know my shift key so I don't distort my frame. I can make it a little. Uh, let's try it here. Later I'll show you how to fit a picture inside a frame perfectly. Um, but that's for another slide. So I'm going to leave this frame off for now because I think the tape looks cuter really. So I'm going to hit Control C again and Control V so I've duplicated it. Now I have two pieces of tape. Let's angle this. You can just be as artistic as you want. And maybe one more for this piece of work down here. Oh yeah, how cute is that? It's a little smaller. Love it. Just adorable. So inserting photos and adding clip art is as simple as that. You can just let your imagination run wild and design it however you like. If you should happen to forget what I've said on this video, you can watch it again, or you have directions. If you're a reader and you prefer to read, you can um, look at the direction pages in your scrapbook. They're all right there for you, so you can read them as many times as you want. Okay. There are several pages of digital clip art for you to choose from. For all occasions and hobbies. Now let's take a look at how to use the templates that are already designed. Adding photos to a pre-designed template is really easy. Notice how the photo appears behind the template so it looks like these friends are peeking through a transparent paint smear. Pretty cool, huh? But how did they get back there? It's really easy. Let me show you. So let's pretend that we've inserted our photo. I'm going to use this photo of these friends. And I'm going to right click on this photo so I get an option to order the photo. I'm not sure if you can see this. But I can choose to bring it full in the front or forward or send it to the back. And I'm going to send this photo to the back. 
Now you might need to hit the undo button and bring it back to the front so that you can adjust it so that it fits in the frame perfectly and so that not so that none of your photo is cut off. I think her head is a little too cut off. So I'm going to hit undo, which is a wonderful button. You can undo anything you did. And I'm going to move this photo around. See, I want to cover I want to cover every part of the um, empty space and I want their faces to be seen nicely. So I don't have to take I will have to guess a little bit where I think that's going to be. So you have to play with it. I think that looks good. Let's try it again. So I'll right click I'll hit order, send to the back. Mm, still not loving that. I'm gonna try it one more time. Scoot him over just a hair. Maybe make it a little smaller so she fits in there better. Let's bring it down as far as I can without it hanging out at the bottom. And I'm happy with that. That looks good. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Later I'll show you how to add text onto your photos. Now let's talk about cropping a photo to fit into a frame. We sort of discussed this a little bit earlier. I need to angle this photo and fit it over the frame so that the frame is completely filled. The photo is hanging outside of the edges a little bit here. Let's see, watch after I angle this. So let me back up a little. I bring my photo in and I grab this little lever and I angle it to a as closely as possible to the angle of the frame and notice that all right I've got I've got the empty space covered I've got it angled pretty nicely it'll look good but this piece is hanging off now if I try to scooch it in to make it fit now they look distorted and that's not good so we won't do that and if I try to hold my shift key and shrink it down to size so that I don't distort it, I end up with this extra space above my, in my frame. That's not good, so that's not gonna work. So what we have to do is crop this photo so that it fits. And it's easy, all you do is double click. And now you notice I have these little black edges that show me that I'm in cropping mode and I can crop this photo. I could crop it down. I could bring it in and crop the whole thing, but I'm just going to try to crop off of this edge. So I just need to get my little arrow and it's funny. You need to have your arrow more to the left of it like that. Otherwise it, it something weird will happen. You'll see. So I'm going to crop it just below the frame. And now I might want to, I might even crop this side off just a little so I can scoot it over and, and get them a little more centered. There's a little bit of an art to this. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Now that I have this arranged how I want it, I can simply right click it, hit order, and send it to the back. And now they are inside the frame and they look fabulous. Love it. Okay. okay, now that we know how to crop a photo for to get it to fit, let's talk about cropping to a shape. For this template, I want my friends to fit inside this magnifying glass because it says good friends are hard to find. So therefore, I'm going to need to crop this photo to the shape of a circle. First, I'm going to pull the photo over the glass and try to fit it where I think the faces will be within the frame. The edges that will be cropped off can hang over the glass a little bit because we're going to crop them off. So I'm going to click on the photo to highlight it. See the blue? And then I'm going to go to my taskbar and click the drop down and click to circle. So here this is what a, the cropping thing looks like, the cropping icon, if you've never seen that. So I'm going to go to shape, and then I'm going to click down here to a circle. Sometimes it will automatically crop like that. Sometimes it will give you a square and you have to drag it in. You'll just have to work with it. Okay, so now I've got it to a circle, but it's like 
more of an oval. So I need to reshape this and make them fit nicely in my magnifying glass. So I'm going to pull them up a little, and then I'm going to pull them down here a little. Maybe I'll bring my circle in. I don't want this to hang outside of the magnifying glass. That would look funny. And I have to do this without distorting them. They're a little distorted, but it's okay. Yeah, okay. I could even change the shape of my magnifying glass if I wanted to be really particular. All right, now I think perfect, right there. So now I have my friends in the magnifying glass. I'm gonna grab my magnifying glass, bring it forward by right-clicking, order, and bring to the front. Now they have a cool little glass look over top of them, so they look really neat. Just love that feature. Okay. Now let's talk about adding text. There are two ways to add text to a slide. One is the traditional way where you go to your text box and you drop a text box and you can type within it. Boring. You can't really shape it if you do it that way. The more interesting way to add text is by inserting word art. And you can find it under your in your on your taskbar under insert and you go down to word art and now you have a box and you can click you can type in it and you get this text that you can shape like an image you can't do that with regular text you can distort it and it looks funny so you do have to kind of play with it and make it look how you want you can also add a shadow to um, word art which you can't do with the text so that I think is another thing makes it interesting you can paint it you can do all sorts of things with word art so I almost always use word art instead of a text box unless I'm typing a paper of course okay where are we at now I've added a box for Ted for text art on most all of the slides in the scrapbook and so all you really need to do is double click it and you'll get the option to come in here and type your own words. Hi there. Okay. Now you can also change the font. Uh, you can make it look however you want. You can delete the text box if you don't want, want it on the page. You can move it around. You can reshape it. Um, you can duplicate it. So if I want to have another text box, I will just hit Control C, Control V, and I move it where I want it, shape it, and now I have more than one text box. Pretty cool, huh? Well, that, my friends, sums up my basic design tips that will help you use your scrapbook and, um, come up with some pretty cool pretty cool images the sky is the limit uh, the your scrapbook in case you're seeing this on uh, YouTube has places for friends and pets and vacations sports hobbies interest and most of the momentous times of your life so I hope you enjoyed this video um, again if you have found this video from my YouTube page, you can find a link to this digital scrapbook in the descriptions. This is Jenny, Jenny Walker from Digi Goods and Printables, and follow me for more digital classroom resources. Have a great day.